All right, in this video, I will talk about the 10 most commonly used parameters in mid-journey. So parameters are basically modifiers that you can add to any prompt at the end to be able to adjust the output. And they all begin with a double dash and parameters supersede any default settings that you may have. So here is the list of the parameters that I will go through. So the first one is aspect ratio. So you can type in dash dash AR or dash dash aspect. And then you would simply specify the width to height ratio. So let's say two by three is similar to a vertical dimension and you just hit enter. And here you can see the different types of dimensions that you could use. The two by three and the four by seven is similar to vertical dimensions and the three by two and seven by four is closer to a landscape dimension. So here we have the photo that was generated. So as you can see, it's a vertical dimension. So next we're going to talk about the version parameter, which is dash dash V. So this sets the algorithm version Midjourney uses. So currently the default version is 5.2. So if you want to use any of the previous version, you simply will type in dash dash V and then the version number. And as far as I know, the newest and most updated version is always set as default. So the next one we're going to talk about is chaos. So this sets the randomness of the image which means how varied you want the initial image grids to be. So higher chaos, you would get more unexpected results and lower chaos, you would get more reliable, repeatable results. It ranges from zero to a hundred and the default chaos is set at zero. So let's say we go dash dash C 50. All right, so here's the example. As you can see, the images in the four grids are quite different. So that's with a relatively higher chaos. So this is good for to generate, you know, different ideas to see which uh, type of look that you want in your image. So the next one we're going to talk about is dash dash no. So this allows you to exclude any elements from your image. So let's say we want to adjust this one. We can come to vary and then type in no leaves. There we go. So that removes the leaves and, you know, gives you different concepts of the image. Next, we're going to talk about stylize or dash dash S. So this is how strong you want the image style to be. It ranges from one to 1000 and the default setting is at hundred. So let's see, let's say we come here and we'll remix it again. And then we'll just go dash dash stylize. Let's go 750. And that's what we got. So next one is quality. So this allows for more or less detailed images and can save GPU usage. So the default setting for this is one. This is useful when you want to opt to generate images with less details to save GPU usage. And the only accepted values at the moment is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and one. So the lower the number, the lesser of the details, the image that's gonna be generated. So next we're gonna talk about the image weight. So the image weight parameter lets you adjust the importance of the image versus the text portion of the prompt. So the image weight parameter lets you tell the Midjourney bot how important is your image and how much weight it should take into consideration versus the text portion of your prompt. So the default value is used when no image weight is specified. So the default value is one and the image weight can range from zero to two. So the higher the number, the more weight it has in the prompt. So here's an example. This is the image prompt. So that's the original image. So if you do 0.5 image weight, so that's the low image weight. As you can see, it's more different than the original image. The higher the image weight goes, the more resemblance it has to the original image. So when you go to, as you can see, this one is much similar to the original image. Okay, so that's the purpose of the image weight parameter. So next we're gonna talk about text weights. So you basically use the double colon to set the weight on certain words specifically. The default text weight is one if you don't specify. So here's an example. So let's say if you put in the prompt man, double colon one, and you put in holding a dog, double colon three. So this will tell the mid journey bot that the dog in the image is three times more important and should have three times more weight when it generates the image. So next one is the stop parameter. When you type in dash dash stop, it stops the image generation. So whenever you need to stop something, you just gotta put this in. And the last one that we're gonna talk about today is the seed parameter. This can be used to maintain consistency across multiple generated images. And the way that you put in is just put dash dash seed and then the value. 
So this is how you find the seat number. You go to the specific job and then you right click and you react with the envelope emoji. The new message will show you the job number and also the seat number. And then with the seat number, you're able to use this in the seat prompt. So the purpose of the seat prompt is when you use the same seat number and prompt, you will get similar final images. So here's an example. So let's say if you run three times with the same seat prompts, and this is the example of the Celadon Owl picture. So as you can see, each time comes out in a different style, right, in the four images. So when you specify this specific seat number, as you could see here, with the same seat number and the same prompt, you will get very similar final images. Okay, so that's the purpose of the seat prompt. So there you have it. That was the list of parameters that we just went through. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.